Hey guys, Churchy here. So, as well as adding the Primal Ritualist skill tree to the game, the Three Brothers DLC also adds two other trees. One focuses on passive skills and the other focuses on weapon skills. To access these skill trees, you'll need to build a Gladiator's Arena in your settlement and then upgrade it. To access the Passives tree, you need to upgrade the Arena into a Combat Academy. And to access the Weapon Skills tree, you need to upgrade the Arena into the Training Grounds. You can only apply one upgrade to the arena, so if you want to access both trees, you'll need to build and upgrade an arena on two different characters. I'll be covering the city building aspect of the DLC in more depth in another video, but a quick warning here, a lot of the buildings you'll be building can be very expensive to make. Once you've unlocked the passive skill tree and weapon skill tree, you'll need to trade in Conqueror medals to acquire the skills. You can get Conqueror medals by winning fights in the Gladiators arena and you'll still have access to the arena even after upgrading the building. And now with all that said, let's take a look at the new passive skills and weapon skills. Alrighty, so here I am at the training grounds and I'm just gonna walk in. There's the arena master that you can talk to if you wanna do fights. But over here, much more importantly, is B Battleborn Weapons Master. Now, if you talk to B, we'll get to see the new weapon skills added to the game. So the new skills are the technique, required one-handed sword, unleash a flurry of six rapid strikes, scalp collector, required one-handed axe, finish off an enemy with this to gain the kill streak buff, which grants bonus damage and speed. Dispersion, required one-handed mace, Create a highly damaging shockwave that destabilizes you. If your weapon has an elemental in view, it uses that element and inflicts the associated hex on foes. Moment of Truth. Required two-handed sword. A highly damaging strike that bypasses 50% of enemy resistances. Lowers your own resistances by 50% for 15 seconds. Warrior's Vein. Required two-handed axe. A strong counter with high impact that inflicts extreme bleeding on yourself and the enemy. Crescendo. Required two-handed mace. A quick strike that generates one stack of the craze buff on hit, which grants bonus damage. All stacks of craze are lost if you are damaged. Vicious Cycle. Required spear. A high damage and high impact sweep that inflicts cripple on enemies. Splitter. Required polearm. A leaping strike that increases in power as the enemy's life percent decreases and uses the element infused on the weapon. You will evade all enemy attacks while performing this move. Strafing run. Required bow, five equipped arrows. Run to the left or right while unleashing a storm of five arrows. Best used while locked onto a target. Vital crash. Required any fist weapon. A long distance running tackle that does more damage the more health percent you have and more impact the more stamina percent you have. Inflicts confusion and pain on you. So here I am at the Combat Academy, and once again, with this one, there's the Arena Master you can talk to if you want to fight in the arena here. And again, more importantly, here is this guy, Justin Garnett, Specialist Trainer. Ignore the plant tent, that was just something that I put there before he was here. Want to learn some new tricks? You know I do. So here we are at the Specialist, and these are the skills that he has on offer. Brains. Increase elemental damage by 15%, but lower physical damage by 25%, and increases stamina costs by 15%. Bronze. Increase physical damage by 25% and increase max stamina by 15, but lower elemental damage by 40%. Unsealed. Speed up sigil placement skills and extend the duration of sigils by 20 seconds. Lower max life by 25. Patience. Increase damage from weapon skills by 25%, but lower the damage from normal and special attacks by 25%. Cruelty. Increase damage of your burning, poison, extreme poison by 50%, and increase the damage of bleeding, extreme bleeding, blaze, holy blaze, and plague by 30%. Lower status resistances by 50%, and physical resistance by 10%. And the only one I've actually experimented with so far, and my Absolute favorite, acrobatics. Unhampered dodge rolls have increased range. Stamina cost of dodge rolls increased by 
I absolutely love this and it comboed so well with this character because this character already had feather dodge so now I dodge much further and it cost me what a normal dodge would cost and I'll show you that right now look how far I leap and yeah that's the passives It is quite an effort to get access to the new passives and weapon skills, but I think it's worth it and a lot of the new skills are really cool and add a lot of new possibilities to the game. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks to the legends supporting me on Patreon and thank you for watching. Have a good day or night, whichever it may be, and I'll see you in the next video.